Hi, my name is Britt with Media Support Group. I'm going to give you a brief overview of how the Blackmagic Smart Video Hub 20x20 works. This is a 1RU unit, and here you have uh, your 20 buttons that represent your inputs and outputs, or your sources and destinations. Um, and then over here in this section, you have your source, destination, your clear button, menu, video, and take button. And in the screen, by default, comes up, it'll show you the source on top, destination on bottom. Uh, so we're starting to label this one for a, a project here in-house. And if I hit the video button, it'll actually show me my video signal. It's a nice little preview monitor, and uh, it'll show me my signal. It'll also read out the uh, resolution, and I'll show you here in a second. And then on the bottom here, you have your source and destination. Uh, so source on the left, destination on the right. Um, I do have a couple of signals running into here uh, that I am going to be routing into our, our Blackmagic uh, rack mount monitor here. Uh, so two ways you can do this, you can actually uh, cycle through, uh, if I go to destination first, and I can cycle through all my destinations, um, the same thing with source, and I can go and find uh, what source I'm looking for. Uh, right now I'm going to hit clear because I don't want to take that. Uh, the other way you can do it is you can also use uh, this, this selector knob here and it'll go and uh, it'll go through all your destinations. Um, so that's another way you can route signals. And so uh, for the two signals I have running in here, I'm going to route a signal here to our, our first rack mount monitor. You'll start off by hitting the destination button. Uh, which I'm going to find my rack mount monitor one, which is uh, number 13 here. And then I'll hit source and I'm going to go find my program signal, actually my preview signal from my switcher, uh, which I have routed this out uh, to our switcher output two. Uh, so we have an animation there. And just like I mentioned earlier, you have the resolution popping up there on the top, uh, which is pretty cool to see what's coming in. And so now you'll notice this is actually flashing and it's asking me if I want to take uh, or I can clear to stop that route. Uh, so I'll go through this again, destination, and then I wanna find uh, my preview signal, which I have here, as switch route two. And I'm, I'm gonna hit take now. So we see our signal is now in our rack mount monitor. And then I'm gonna go ahead and route uh, my program signal over here to this right one. So the same thing, I'll hit destination, I'll find uh, that destination. So we have it just labeled here rack, uh, rack mount 2, rack mount monitor 2. Uh, then I'll hit source. I'm going to go find my program signal. These are my switcher output 1. And I'll hit tape. And so there's our signal there. Uh, so now I have my preview of my program. Um, just the exact same way you want to route your camera signals or, or different sources. It's the exact same process. Um, now, if I hit my menu button, it'll take me back to this readout where it's just giving me my labels. And then also uh, in the menu, if I hit this again, um, it gives me a use take, so which is flashing because um, you can set it where I don't actually you don't actually have to hit that button. Um, you can do destination source and it'll it'll switch on its own. I'm gonna leave that setting on. And then you have your network setting here. If I hit take on network. Um, this is going to give me my settings for uh, my IP address, subnet, and, and gateway uh, to get it on the network. So I just hit menu to get out of this. Um, I'll go back to my video here. And so you see I'm back in my preview screen. And that's a brief overview of how to use the Blackmagic Smart Hub Video 20x20.